there. Alright, so once you've got your fourth square, that's my pink, my white, my pink, and then my white. I'm going to cast off. Once I've got the seven squares in my white, I'm going to bind off all of these stitches. So all that you're going to do is you just knit your first two and then pull your stitch over. And you're going to do that for all your stitches. Knit the next, pull it over. Knit the next, pull it over. And you can feel free to keep going with your scarf. If you want a, a long scarf or if you want to change the style, you could make yours a lot longer than mine if you want to and then double it over. Um, it's totally up to you as to how you want to do it. I just wanted to make a small, a short little infinity scarf. But um, yeah, so this is all you do to bind off. Just knit one and pull the slip stitch over. Sorry, pull the stitch, the back stitch over the front. So knit one and pull this stitch over. And that is all that you do. So I'm going to go ahead and finish mine and then I'm going to show you how to sew yours together. And yeah, then your project will be done. So let's finish this and I'll show you how to sew yours together. Okay, so once you've done your last stitch, Take a fairly long piece of yarn because I'm going to use it to sew my scarf together and then just bring your yarn through just bring your yarn through that stitch. You just stretch it out and you bring it through and, and then you, you pull it together. And there you have so you just bring that yarn through the stitch and then you pull it there. Now I'm going to sew this together. So the first thing that you're wanting to do is to sew all these threads in. These threads that you have on the side, you're going to just sew them in and you want to do it subtly so you don't see them because this scarf is reversible and you'll see them on either side. So you just have to be careful that you're not you're not seeing the work that you're doing now. So I'm just finding any stitch and I'm going to bring my needle in there and just bring it through here and bring that through and bring your pink on the pink and the white will go on this side otherwise you are going to see what you're doing so I just bring it through there and then I go the other way so that I know that this yarn isn't going to go anywhere else and that's all that you do and you can see you hardly see where I've sewn this now so that's the main thing is that you don't see it because you can wear the scarf either side usually you'd put it on the wrong side of the row of your work but um, you'll have to do it on the side that could be worn and then you're just going to cut it off so that's all that you do and you do that to all of your threads sew them in and then I will show you how we're going to join our scarf alright so finally we come to the sewing our scarf together now you can either sew it you can either sew it just halved like this and these two pieces together or you can flip it so you take this piece and just flip it around and you'd sew it on like this and then it gives you a that kind of a rounded flare to it it's up to you which way you want to do it so you can either just do it straight like this or just take this part and turn it around and then that just turns it around like that. And either way, it's, it's, they both work. It's up to you which way you want to do it. I'm just going to do mine straight for now. Now, sewing it up, because you can wear this on both sides, um, you know, you could make it that one side is your wrong side. And then when you sew it, there are different ways to sew it. This is the thing. Um, you, if I take both of different these ways to sew it, if I take these two and these two, this side is not going to see anything. It's going to be flat on that side. Um, you know, it's different it's just different techniques of sewing. You could just take this one, the front loop here, and this front stitch here. And that's going to give you a different look as well. Those two together, you're going to have more of a border on this side and that one will still be fa fairly flat and a bit of a border on this side you know it's up to you if you take because look here's your stitch you can take two the whole stitch like this see there's another one 
you could take the whole one, both stitches there, and the same thing here, both of these. And then this side is going to have this looking border, which could be your wrong side, or unless you like it, your right side. Or you can do it where it's totally reversible, and then you just take, say, the front one from this and the back one from there. So this side would have one of the stitches, and that side would have one of the stitches. So then you can really reverse it. I'll probably do that. I'll take this one, that one's front one. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring this yarn across to this side. Just so that I can start my actual stitching. Because you stitch from this side to this side. Now just be careful, be sure that these are lining up all the time. Otherwise you're going to end up in the wrong place. So I'm going to take this front one and this back one. And I'm going to sew them like that. Let me just do one more in there because I've... I'll just be sure I've got that nice and tight. And once again, it's, you, you, you can either go with the pink or the, the cream color because either way one of them is going to stand out. So you just have to be careful how you do this because ultimately you're still going to see something somewhere. Okay, so I'm going very one from that side and one from this side. And I'm trying to do it tactfully so you don't really see anything. You can't see too much there and this side you don't see. So you can see you got a bit of a ridge there from that side and here you're going to have a bit of a ridge. So, I mean, you can do it either way. You know, the bottom line is you're going to just sew it the best you can. If I take both of these two, this side will have the ridge, but then that side will be fine. You see, you'll see it a little bit there. And then this side, you won't see it. So it's up to you guys, up to you as to how you want to sew it. As I say, you can take both. It's really, you know, you want you don't really want to see this yarn so, so much. Another way that you could do it is to try and hide your yarn completely. So if I come in here, you can try and hide it. So come, so just try and hide your yarn. You know, come there and there, so that it's not really visible. I'm trying to get it so you don't really see it, and now you can't see it. So I'm just coming in this one and kind of in the middle of this one and there you don't see it on this side and you're not seeing it on this side so I'm taking this one and then I'm coming into the middle of this one just into the middle of this stitch and I'm bringing it through and you're not seeing anything so you just sew it the best you can Nobody's going to notice it anyway. So you can't see where I've sewn it either way. You can't see it there and you can't see it there. So that's my best advice. You know, grab it from here and then grab in the middle of this one. And you should be good. It's a little tricky, but you can't really see it now. And just keep lining these up all the time so that you know that you're going to finish at the same, the right spot. And that's how you sew it. And once you've sewn it, you are complete with your your scarf. So I hope that you've enjoyed this lesson. And I hope that you've enjoyed this course and that you'll join me in one of my other courses. Feel free to ask me any questions if you have any and I'll help you the best I can. And I hope to see you in my next course. Thanks so much. Bye.